Support. The Maestro, please! Not nearly as many to go over this week, but hey, at least they're all in different genres. This'll be for the week of... July 17th. 2018. I mean, can you imagine if they was just all classical albums? Nobody would watch this episode. <laughs> if you're wondering what a whorl is, it's a pattern of spirals or concentric circles. So there, now you learned something. I also enjoyed the album. Don't mean a thing if it that swing I'm grateful the album is actually ragtime music. For those of you that are wondering what ragtime is, it's actually an older version of jazz and predates it to an extent, popping up around the early 1900s. And it's good that he understands it, but at the same time, he does have a doctorate. It would be embarrassing if he didn't. Singing this does not happen all that often. Of all the things not to have this week, I was not expecting it to be rock. This was originally announced back in 2016 by Zaytoven, the producer for the mixtape. Back then, it was actually called Beast Mode 16. Obviously, it got delayed a bit, but regardless, it's out now. And I'm giving in to your fever touch. Let it all begin when the fire starts. You're the darkness in me, Palo Santo. So the whole concept of this is that this is meant to portray a dystopian, genderless android society. And in fact, Palo Santo actually directly translates to Holy Wood, which is funny because we have a city called Hollywood. So there's a lot of connections to be made in this. And now I need some help from the maestro, please. I don't want to choose and I'm quick. Cut a nigga off so don't get comfortable. Look. I don't dance now, I make money moves. Shout out to Cardi B for getting back in the top five after a number of weeks. You decide if you ever gonna let me know. Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go. Uh, I'm sad and know, yeah. I'm sad and know, yeah. Well, this is certainly creating some sort of legacy. Going in the sky over 20,000, I keep my wife out lit. I spend over 5,000, that's just so unfit. I'm not going back no more when they ain't have shit. Zaytoven said they recorded over a hundred songs for this, so that might have something to do with the delay. Regardless, I don't know how they knocked it down to nine. I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. I'm getting very excited for when the day comes that for all the top five, I can just pimp out pop analysis videos. I mean, we got three with Cardi B, Post Malone, and this next one. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. Yeah. He's broken so many records with this release, so it's gonna probably be up here for a long time. So look forward to me struggling to come up with new topics to talk about regarding this album. So this week's playlist is very digestible, so I suggest you go through it and enjoy the four new albums that pop up. Alternatively, just go listen to Drake and Post Malone some more. And now I need some help, I don't want to go, please! Maestro!